I thought I'd come on and pretty much show you my Telfar bag collection. It was an un unplanned collection. The first bag I bought was just in support of just a bat business and all that came with that and I and I actually didn't necessarily like the aesthetic of the bag but at the same time I'm always there for our black business owner. This was my first Telfar bag which I am actually about to sell. I did get a sale for it yesterday and I'm going to mail it off and I think it inspired me to come on and show you the collection before I get rid of some of them because it's about five or six bags which yeah it's a little bit excessive and um, I I just don't want to be wasteful so this is the first bag it's in the dark olive or olive green I'm not sure what the color says but this is the medium size I absolutely love it it's great for work as a tote you can just drop your laptop in it and your essentials for the day and I love it but I really don't use it enough and to be honest I'm uh, I'm not really into vegan leather don't kill me but yeah I figured let me get rid of this one just because I've you know I've used it enough and I've kind of realized that I don't reach for it as much because I have so many other tote bags for work. The second one, guys, was like the mother load of Telfar bags. And this was the one with the collaboration with Moose Knuckles. And I already did, a, I think, a haul or review on it. I absolutely love this bag. The tag is still on there, but I have used it before. And I was just saying the other day to Tony, because she had asked me something, TonyDaily.com, who, if you know, you know, that I just don't get rid of th tags sometimes on things, and this is one of the bags that <laughs> I have not taken the tag off. I think because when I buy high-end designer bags I definitely think of resale in mind and not to be get to not to get too attached to bags at all because I'm transient and every now and then I go through my stuff and if I'm not reaching for the thing I'm not gonna buy it like keep it so this was quite expensive and this was the moose nuzzle and this is a lambs skin leather bag love it it's I wear it um, not very often because it's very delicate it has this quilted design on it with the typical longer strap which you can put over your shoulder but I find when you're packing this um, you have to be careful with the weight of it because you just don't want it to um, be too heavy so I typically take this on like short trips or weekend trips um, just to take as a personal item but it's quite big and I absolutely love the detail on it and I don't think I'll get rid of it but you never know this is all the stuffing in there but it has like an inside pocket and a couple of um, other pockets in there so I really love this this is one of my favorite one and I think because it is actually leather I love it even more because as I said I'm not a vegan leather person yeah but it's just preference guys it's no big deal I I just love a leather bag because of durability and also for sustainability in terms of I'll keep it longer and it to me lasts longer the next set of bags and next set beads is just too much <laughs> I got um, two of the bags from the Telfar collaboration with Melissa and Melissa Melissa sells like jelly jelly sandals and accessories and I got this one in the clear I thought I'd use this but I haven't used it I got it for last year's concert um, season because I go to a lot of concerts in the summer and a lot of the places were asking that people carry um, 
clear bags for security reasons but I never use this and this is the medium size and I just kind of thought even if I wasn't taking it for concerts I'd love to be able to use this as an everyday bag to throw stuff in for work and because I commute I just don't think this was big enough so I think I'm gonna sell this one again again tags are still on there guys I have not worn this bag but I absolutely love it it's so sturdy it has like the tubing here um, on the, the the edges and it definitely has like it's really really sturdy I love it uh, it's just that if I'm not using it I'm gonna get rid of it so this also has the same style as all the other Telfar bags um, and I absolutely love this but we will get rid of it the one thing I should say about this so let's do like you know collection but review it came kind of dull like the clear wasn't clear clear it was more like a hazy um, look to it and I think I'm gonna wipe it down before I sell it because a lot of people when I saw them review the bag they did say that too they thought it would have been more less kind of murky in terms of the finish but you know you can see past it um, it does have the Melissa by Telfar I'm not sure if you can see it here at the back of the bag but at the same time I just think that I don't know what it is about the finish that makes it look so dull and less like clear it's more opaque-ish in terms of it's almost like there's a, a cloudiness to the finish of the the plastic and I don't know what got into me guys but yeah but again if I don't use it I sell it so I got this one which is the brown clear which I will keep because this is actually the, the large the large is actually more suited for my lifestyle and for like work I can throw my stuff in this and I can go and it doesn't have that um, kind of haziness that the clear bag has and I really really love the chocolate not chocolate but like this chestnutish brown um, and it just wears very very well um, in order to kind of encourage privacy I actually I still have like my little edge gel <laughs> in here from my L and I do to prevent um, people seeing my business in my bag I have this pouch from Kate Speed which I put my necessities in that I don't want everybody to see and I just drop it in the bag to kind of you know it, it's cute but you don't really see it and you don't see the details of my bag so this is quite a big of a pouch and I just put it in with all my other stuff so love 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 this one and this one will be a keeper for sure so last but not least this is I think the last bag that I'll buy <laughs> unless there's a huge collaboration because the the collection is already complete with the leather bag from Moose Knuckles and that one was a pretty penny pretty penny but a treat for myself the last one I got was the Dem from the denim collection and I haven't worn this one yet but I am looking forward to do doing so from spring onwards and this will be like a summer travel bag as well see it's still let's unbox it still has the kind of all the wrappings on there this is the denim the blue denim bag this comes off you can pull it off gently because you never know um and i really love this this he, this I bought in a large because I wanted to be able to travel with this and it has the long strap it does have the Telfar um, stamp on the back here this was not a collaboration it was a denim collection that was done in also a black denim as well um, the good thing about this too is that it has I really don't want to break this off for some reason as I said 
I'm obsessed with tags on things. I don't wear them out like this. I kind of tuck it in, but it's it's just it's just me. Um, yeah, there's a zipper here. Hold on, let me take this off because it's actually Velcro. So yeah, let's unbox this one. There, it has a zipper here, which most, if not all the other bags, do not have. So I love the fact that I think this one was the, one of the pull factors for me buying this because it has a zipper for security at the top of it. And the zipper tab says Telfar. And there's a little piece of cardboard in it. And it's quite huge. It is spacious, guys. Um, I definitely am looking forward to wearing this and it has the telfar at the front it doesn't have any footsies on it but anyway guys that is my telfar collection if you have any questions about the bags or even shipping to canada i have done a video on that previously when i bought my first um telfar the green one that i'm gonna sell um let me know guys and um comment below if if you need any help with anything else Thank you guys for watching. Take care and have a good one. Bye.